Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at Finland's first serial killer, Juani Ayatamin Poika. I'd like to apologize, because firstly there is not a lot of information on this case, given the age, as well as it being a Finnish case, as well as apologize for my pronunciation of Finnish, as I do not speak Finnish. Born on the 31st of July 1826 in Vesiverma, Finland, Ayatimin Poika killed 12 people in southern Finland between October and November 1849. At the time, Finland was part of Russia, which would remain until the October Revolution in 1917. His mother was a maid and his father was a slave who committed suicide, with his mum committing fornication and shunned by society Ayatin Poika was sent to live with his grandparents. His mother married a man named Alexander Bom, and the pair moved to Joenima in Heinola, with Ayatin Poika following them. Throughout his childhood, he was savagely abused by his stepfather. At the age of 15 in 1841, Ayatin Poika left home to become a slave and to travel around Finland. It was at this time he became a petty criminal. At the age of 23 on the 6th of October 1849, he was arrested and imprisoned in Hamenlina prison and taken to Hauwa, charged with stealing horses. Escaping in the middle of a prison transfer, he headed to Lami, teaming up with Kusta Kastula. In the evening, the pair arrived at Heliserva's croft, where Ayatim Poika pretended to be a lost traveller and knocked on the cottage door and asked for a place to sleep. The housekeepers let him in and once the hostesses were asleep, Katsula came in and killed both housekeepers, utilising a large stone provided by Ayatim Poika. Ayatim Poika and Katsula went their own ways and on the 18th of October, Ayatim Poika returned to Jonyemi to see his mother. Upon his return he quarreled with his stepfather, Bob, who he murdered with an iron bar and then murdered his mother. His siblings fled into the forest with Ayatin Poika following them and killing them in the forest, beating their brains in with a log. Within this frenzied attack, he had killed four people. From there, he travelled to the Saima Canal, meeting priest Heike Haikin Podja, who he killed with a stick because he needed Haikin Podja's priest certificate for a job search. Continuing to Saima Canal, he killed a further five people between October and November 1849. This included a murder on the 19th of October 1849 in Mantai Haju, where he killed a tramp using a rod. And on the 25th of October, he murdered a sailor in Lapvesi using a rod. On the 2nd of November 1849, he murdered a foreman using a wand in Marskila. He then committed a robbery on the 4th of November 1849 in Haor and utilising an axe and log killed two elderly crofters. On the 8th of November, he returned to Lami with his friend, Anti Suiko. The pair then headed to Hatelmata to commit robberies and arrived at the home of Gustav Thierry, beating Thierry, his wife, mother, and 11-month-old baby girl. Assuming that they had killed all four individuals, they stole money and fled. While Thierry's wife died, the rest of the family survived. And a couple of weeks later, Ayatim Poika was caught in Tervanimi at the Pulsa Mill on the 20th of November. Charged at the Vyborg Court of Appeal, he was sentenced to death. The Department of Justice upheld his death sentence before intervention by Tsar Nicholas I of Russia, who sentenced him to life in prison and 40 lashes with a whip on his back. In January 1853, he was transferred to Sormlina Island and was kept there as a prison clerk. There, he was chained to a cell with the door bricked up and the only access to the cell was through a skylight from which his food was dropped. He died in September 1854 while in prison, however the exact date of his death is unknown. 
Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.